To be honest, I was liking MCU's new show, Secret Invasion. But then, MCU started to MCU like it MCU's. If you didn't like the joke, don't worry. I'm going to apologize for the bad joke, unlike Marvel. Anyway, the latest episode of Secret Invasion is out. And here are my thoughts. Who haven't seen this episode yet? Leave now, because this is a spoiler alert. First, we see a phone call between Nick Fury and Farah, where they're talking about some personal stuff. Then we see Krull Rhodey trying to persuade the president to attack Russia. And somehow the president agrees as well. Then on the other hand, we see one of the most predictable set pieces in all of MC where Nick Fury leaves his car and starts walking towards the Skrull base where Gravik is. I mean, he is Nick Fury, one of the smartest men on the planet. There is no way he is just going to walk into a highly radioactive place that could harm him. There is surely something green in the screen. Anyway, on the other hand, we see Skrull Rhodey, let's call him Scrody, trying to shift the president into a hospital because he got a tip that Fury might be there to harm him, which is stupid. I mean, this is the president of United States we are talking about. If he is conscious and is taking part in making military decisions, why is he still in the hospital? Why not the White House? Lazy writing maybe. But anyway, then we see Fury and Gravik talking about some stuff where we get to know that the face Gravik bears now is basically the face of the first man he killed. And the way he described his feelings for this man is probably one of the very few things that I liked in this episode. And then, quite conveniently, Green Nick Fury hands over the harvest to Gravik. Here we get to see some of the people whose DNA are in the vial as Gravik tries to confirm its originality. We see names like Ghost, Captain America, Carol Danvers, Thor, Korg, Thanos and whatnot. Now Gravik turns the machine on and turns himself into a super super Skrull that has the power of all those characters and then tries to kill Fury. This is when the completely unexpected happens. We see Fury was never fury and it was Gaia all along. Really, is this the reaction you expected Kevin? Anyway, we see a fight between the two super scrolls and after using the powers of a few of our favorite heroes and anti-heroes, Gaia kills Gravik using Captain Marvel's power and boom, there's a problem. This whole scene created the most overpowered character in MCU. I mean, she has powers of Thor and Captain Marvel who are capable of destroying entire armies. On top of that, she has extremists which can heal herself. I'm sure there are some limitations to this power otherwise Gravik wouldn't have died but this is too much power for any character on any universe to have plus she can shape shift which means she can make her way into almost any corner on the planet and keep impersonating as some of the biggest powers even though she is on the good side of the things as of now this could turn out to be extremely problematic for MC but anyway if we move ahead with the story we see that in the hospital Scrody tries to steal a gun from Sonia when Fury kills Crody before he can do something. And then the president cancels the nuclear strike and the war stops. And just like that, the espionage thriller from Marvel ended. And if I try to talk about the goods and bads, I liked the first five episodes of the series. But then the finale did not pay off the five weeks of waiting that I have gone through. At least if Marvel dropped the whole show at once, I'm sure I would have liked it more. This is something Marvel really needs to fix. The same thing has been going on with so many of their shows that it's no longer even frustrating. Anyway, this was all I had to say about Secret Invasion and its final episode. Thank you for watching. Like, share, bye.